channel so this video is going to be a piggyback video in regards to uh, my ESP LTD JH600 that I recently acquired. When I first picked that guitar up I didn't have the stickers yet. I still had to wait a little bit because they came from Russia so there was a little bit of a wait on that but when I got them um, everything was, they're not exactly to scale, they're close but I kind of had to uh, fudge it you know as far as matching uh, where they would line up on this guitar. Not to mention too, uh, like the layout on the guitar is different as opposed to Jeff's because uh, you know Jeff had like uh, you know he had a Kaler on his guitar and some of the knobs were in a little bit different spots. So I had to, I was very very picky with how I laid these on the uh, guitar and I just any pictures that were available online, I just I tried to get it as dead center, dead nuts accurate as possible, you know, in regards to just matching it up with Jeff's guitar that he had. So this is what the final product, what it looks like. I think I did a pretty fucking damn good job, huh? I am pretty proud of that actually. Because, uh, yeah, it was um, a little bit of effort to uh, put those on. There's a lot of stickers involved, you know, making sure that uh, I put them all in the right places and stuff. I mean, it was at some times, you know, like um, some of the stickers would kind of get away from me to where, you know, I go to try to place it in the right spot and then all of a sudden it would start sticking to the guitar before I wasn't quite ready to stick to it. I tried to start peeling it back and then uh, one of the letters would just start kind of coming undone and then I was like, ah shit, you know, and I gotta hurry up and try and get that thing off and like fix the sticker before I had it exactly where I wanted where I would finally, you know, put it down on the body and take my uh, little credit card or debit card that I would just kind of, you know, spread across there to get it to lay down here properly. But so yeah, I got them. Uh, Pretty close uh, in comparison to Jeff's guitar, the way he had his. And I'll show you guys up here in case some of you guys have not seen the other video when I first got this thing, when it was just the bare, you know, black body. So this is one of the, um, this was a 2005 model that had the Floyd Rose on it, didn't have the Kaler. And this one also did not have, I talked about this in the other video, whether you guys watched that video or not. Uh, that's irrelevant, but I'll just kind of go over everything again. So this was a 2005 model, and this kind of gave me, this kind of threw a red flag at me because it didn't have, you know, typically you'll see Jeff's signature right here, and uh, it wasn't on this guitar, but going back to the catalogs, like the 2004, 2005 catalog, that logo did not uh, show up there on any of the guitars that were in the catalog. And um, it wasn't too far of a ride for me to get this guitar. This was a local uh, seller that was getting rid of his guitar because um, he's just not into playing metal anymore. He's more into like classic rock and things of that nature. That seems to be kind of a story with uh, you know a good amount of the guitars that I've acquired so far. It's just been from people that just don't play metal anymore. You know, they get they kind of grow out of it. But I'm not going to be uh, one of those people growing out of metal anytime soon. Probably never in my lifetime. His loss was my gain, and I picked this up. Luckily, I was able to check it out before I, you know, went ahead and bought it too. The other really interesting thing about this guitar: this is solid maple, so this thing just weighs a shit ton. A nice, heavy, dense guitar, which I like. I just like all my guitars to just be, they just to feel like tanks, feel like they're just a brick shit house, you know? Yeah, I love everything about it. The only thing is with this so far. I gotta, uh, I gotta get with my guitar, my guitar buddy, my tech guy, and see what the hell the deal is with these EMGs, because they just, they, I got a new battery in it and everything. They're just not putting out a lot of, uh, a lot of balls right now. They're just, they're kind of underwhelming to be honest. I mean, it's like uh, nothing, nothing like what I'm usually used to with my EMGs. Like in my, all my other guitars, they got a lot more output than these ones are putting out for whatever reason. I don't know if it's just because they're old or. Um, what it is so it's just something I'm gonna have to bring to his attention and I did go ahead and um, you know I got my 10 to 46 Diodario uh, XLs I just use the regular nickel wound strings I don't like the NY XLs I think I've told you guys about that they just for the extra money you pay for them I found that when I've used them they go deader a lot faster they don't last as long they're not as bright and if they are bright they're bright for maybe I don't know, a couple hours of play and then they're dead. That's just what I hear. So I choose not to spend the extra money on a string that I feel is, you know, not as superior as the ones that are cheaper. So I go with just the standard XL strings and that's what I got on here. Like I said, 10 to 46. And um, yeah, I still gotta go ahead and set it up though. I mean, you can see the bridge is kinda, 
guitar's already moved even with uh, putting the strings on and having it kind of, you know, like having the guitar find its way home, uh, like trying to feel out like what it is in conjunction with the strings that he had on here. That guy had like, um, I think he had 9 to 42s or maybe even lighter. I mean, they felt like rubber bands on there. They were old, so they had to go anyway. But yeah, this uh, this is definitely a heavier set of strings, so it's pulling on the bridge a little bit. And uh, you know, I when I put these strings on, I went ahead and adjusted everything, but it has moved already. You know, I don't know if uh, he had it like in a basement or something, as opposed to me being in my place where it always gets pretty damn hot in here. But yeah, things have moved a little bit, so I just got to go ahead and readjust everything. But just wanted to make a quick update video in relation to this guitar and show you guys. I'll show you guys once again before I head out of here, before I leave y'all, y'all. But that's how it came out. And I think I got it pretty damn close to uh, how they were laid out on Jeff's guitar. You know, even though it, like I had to work around, just yeah, having the different bridge there and just where the knobs are and where the little toggle switch is. Just things like that, just having to work around it and just make it as accurate as I could. But So yeah, I'm going to leave you guys right here. If you guys liked the video, give it that thumbs up and I will talk to you guys soon. Guys, take care.